how are you? I hope you're good. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nonsi Gelelo Chabangu to those on you to my channel and to my returning subscribers. What I do, guys, welcome back and thank you so much for your continued support, guys. It means a lot to me. And today it's story time day, and I'm gonna be telling you a story where <laughs> I got busted me Jola and it was almost like an we are July 99 episode, but yeah, with just less drama. So I'm going to be doing my makeup at the same time. So let's get on to it. So guys, <laughs> the story name, the story goes like this. It was, it was a few years back, right? And then I was involved with someone. So, you know, with like the people involved in this, in this story, we need to give them names, right? Um, so we're gonna, we were gonna call the guy that I was dating Saint. I'm gonna call him Saint because he was, wasn't really a saint, but it felt like he was a saint at that time. So I had known Saint for, for I think about four years prior to this incident. I had known Saint for like four years. And me knowing Saint for the, for the time that I'd known him for like for those four years. When I met Saint, he was with someone who was involved with one person but they were kind of like having issues with that person so he was very honest to me to tell me that you know like i i am i am with someone but we are having these kind of issues so we're trying to fix that i was like okay cool but it's like i like you i was like ah, okay i like you too but then we cannot be together because uno mundo fit yo so we agreed that we're not gonna act on that and then that was when i was in I was in my last year of high school, I think. After writing my final exam, that's when I met him. So a few years later, I moved to Joburg and Saint was available for a relationship. So we decided to try it out. We tried it out, but um guys, I'm I'm from I'm from a very strict home. If you know me, you know that my dad was very strict, so I never really got to experience the kind of fun that other children used to experience when they were growing up because I was never really allowed that type of fun by my dad. So because of that, um, now I was in Joburg, I'm now a Joburg girl and I'm experiencing, you know, like now I'm, I can go out without being scared or, you know, my dad is going to get home and not home. So I was, nah, it wasn't there anymore. So now I'm starting to enjoy my life and Saint was there. Saint now wants like serious things with me. Saint wants us to be serious, be like a serious girlfriend go out you know like show people that he is with me of which i i really don't have a problem with that like saint letting people know that he is with me but saint didn't also understand that this was like the first time i was experiencing this kind of freedom this was like the first time when i was experiencing the type of freedom that i was experiencing so obviously like you you kind of go mad i i, I had like it was that phase when I was going mad and I wanted to go out and Saint wanted, uh, Saint wanted a, a proper relationship, you know, with, whereby I stay home, I cook, I do whatever. So I met this other guy. His name is, um, gosh, I almost said his real name. His name is, um, let's call him, let's call him, let's call him Biggie because he was big. So now I met Biggie, right? I met Biggie through a friend. Uh, Biggie saw me and he liked me. And guys, this is like the first time I had had this kind of freedom whereby oh, nah, dear, I'm going out, I'm seeing the lights, I'm saying like I I'm going clubbing without being scared. Oh, to my mommy will say whatever or my dad. So uh oh, 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 big guy sees me through a friend. He's like, I like your friend. And oh, big guy now was like the going out type you know go out go drinking go out with his friends wada, 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 wada. so it was fun Obi guy was giving me something that saint couldn't give me which was going out at that time you know, me, me and big guy were not like in a relationship but you know it's like that time when someone is like trying to impress you and be like yeah so i'm gonna take you around he was doing that taking me around and showing me the places and i was really enjoying it because um I never really got to experience that with Saint, right? So now, <laughs> I 
I decide what the heck, like who's going to tell Saint that I'm with the guy. If none of my friends is going to say anything, nobody's going to say anything. So let me just date the guy. I decided to date a big guy. Biggest mistake of my life. So now, <laughs> on this fateful day, what happened was, O -O Saint uh, had gone out of town for business, right? So Saint had gone out of town for business with with his business partner, and I mean, I'm selling him. No, I'm left at home. So I'm left at home, and then O Saint, because Saint, like I already told you, O Saint had an issue you know with me going out and parting too much so Usain calls he's like babe are you gonna go out today i'm like i know i'm not going out and i hadn't really planned on going out that day i didn't really plan on going out but so i was telling the truth by the time Usain saying are you gonna go out i'm like no i'm not gonna go out I'm home because it, it made sense. I wasn't going to go out. I didn't plan on going out. So I wasn't going out. So I was kept on being like, are you sure? And now I'm losing it. Like, when are you? Like, are you still? I'm going to say it where he was. Because he's going to know if, it, if I say it. Like, so now I'm losing it. Like, when are you still? Where, where, where? La o corner. If you're a business, And it's like, yeah. And I don't think I'm coming back, eh? I'm like okay so if you're still there then go show i'll see you when you come back my baby <laughs> so as soon as the saint hangs up oh big guy and i calls big guys like to me dude um sorry guys i'm trying out this new mic so so now it's like dude um what are you doing baby because I'm going to be like, Adi baby, what are you doing? Because my friend has, um, my friend bought a new car. So we're kind of celebrating like that whole new car vibe. So we're celebrating. So, we're now. Okay, I think I like it. It's not too much. So it's like, yeah, I feel like it's on a moon drum. So as my person, you know, you're supposed to go with me to this, to this party or whatever it is, because, um, I'm going to know me. We are celebrating and it will like a new car. So I want you to be there. I'm like, yeah. So fast forward, I'm getting dressed now. And then I call the saint again to confirm. Oh, to saint. Because I was like, so I'm telling my baby, I'm not saying la lang it. I'm telling her you with you today. I'm not going anyway. I don't know. My baby sleep. I dress up quickly to meet Bunny. Big guy. Dress up quickly, and then him lah. My friend, our mutual friend, like with the big guy, comes to get me. It lah We go to a very famous place. That I'm not gonna mention. Um, but yeah, I go there. So the big guy, I'm like his date. I'm looking sexy as hell. Um, you know, like everything is just nice. You can do push out, you know, like I'm with my man. But then saying I need to know big guy one. See a driver on a big guy one and we're having you know like those moments whereby we're telling each other with you and you know we're telling each other not sweet not things basically so what happened is at that moment um i had my hand i'm gonna concentrate i don't know don't get this right And um, we had a situation whereby my hand, let me show you how it was. So 
this is a big guy ne? let's just say menang big guy so his hand was my hand was here on on top of his chest and then you know, he took his hand to put it on top of my hand yeah bo it's when sagavani saga big guy obey wa momosha so call us i get to have already told o saying do it ngiyalala manje baby are okay so wanna ngom so we'll talk tomorrow so me na ngithe bona i wanna linda bale it has saint so i pedile manje ngithi saint u yazi mna ngimdolele so i'm thinking you know it's, it's over they may enjoy my time with with a big guy and then him loya lo big guy we're telling each other how much we love each other how much we are willing to die for each other how much this doesn't let them and all of a sudden guys a voice that saint like even if even if i was sleeping and then he says something i'll tell you with this is saint that's how much i knew his voice and i still know his voice you understand he's got a very unique high pitched voice so i'm busy i need to be busy doing a malaving and tending so my hand i came thinking and then i hear epic guy that's how if we say into like epic guy epic guy so he was behind me i heard this way i heard this voice coming from behind me and i was like oh shit i froze i couldn't even move and then another part of me is telling me no it's not him I get to know that Ule, Lale business meeting con. This is not him. I freeze, guys. Like I totally, totally freeze. I am go. I'm frozen. I get. <laughs> so. I guess. Usain. Really wanted me to see him. And so what happened? I saw you. With your new man doing loving and tannings after we said our goodbyes our good night sorry not our goodbyes our good nights and you promised me what's when i'm angel you lala but i find you in this club but then sometimes it's like you lied you said but i think a part of him knew because when he was calling me to tell me when i was asking him would he like are you still there he just kept on asking me are you sure you're not going out so i don't know whether he was asking because he knew that i wanted to go out or what so that's one question he kept on asking me are you sure you're not going out i said i'm not going out mm -hmm. so now i'm saying frizzy bang factory with my new baby so now I'm frozen and then oh, oh, oh big guy doesn't know what's happening. So it's only me. And now my fear is what if he causes drama? What if I call it drama? So I'm just there, you know, like I'm scared. I'm like, what is happening? You know? And then Usain decides to come in front of me. Because he was behind. But then he was looking at Oh, big guy so I was like big guy big guy uh got it uh, uh, i put my honey can i'm you know me i'm because i'm a honey can just and it, like that was just for me to see and remember i don't know what's urban lava is on like i don't know these people know each other i had never seen them together like <sighs> it was weird so i stood there and then he comes in front of me is like matcha all right and then he walks off <laughs> Usain walked off and then he later came like five minutes later to come chill with us with his friends friends who knew me and who knew that me and him are together like that like like that so it was really awkward for me and then i had to lie to big guy and say i'm having a running tummy like i don't know what's happening i have to go home and then i took my friend and we we're out and 
<laughs> guys that was the most embarrassing things that i've had uh, that i've ever had to experience oh but as in you know like when you're having that when they catch you <laughs> so that's how the story ended there was no fighting no physical altercation although saint ignored me after that for like months i mean one thing about saint is no matter how much you fight on my birthday he always remembers my birthday and he calls me or whatever so from there the, the time that he spoke was like months after when it was my birthday and yeah he called me to just happy birthday and he did buy me a gift that's why i'm saying he's a saint because if it was me i was never going to speak to him again but he still speaks to me to this day you understand so it was <laughs> It was really, it was a lesson, actually. I never really cheated after that. Not because of that. But, you know, like, cheating is, is, is very draining. It's very time-consuming. It's very, I don't know, guys. Yeah, when I, you have to think of a lie to cover another lie. And you always have to remember that lie that you told to cover this one. And then, so, at the end of the day, it's just a web of lies. And sometimes you really can't keep up with the lies. And that's how you usually get caught. And... For me, I, you know, just doing that, it felt like a lot of work. I'm not saying because I'm a saint. I mean, I'm not a saint. But cheating for me after that was, like, different. Because I, I hate lying and having to remember a lie and having to remember a lie and having to remember a lie. And then, but it, 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 was, it was a really fun experience. Like, now when I talk about it, I, I laugh. When I talk about it, even with saint, we laugh about it. Saint has moved on. He's in a very healthy relationship with his beautiful fiance and you know but it was really really it was really eye-opening for me <laughs> so guys please look at jody don't cheat on your partners it's so unhealthy and i don't know it's 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 it, i think it's painful to the other person so don't do that and guys yeah that's it for today's video i'm gonna see you in my next one so if you're new on this channel please don't forget to subscribe guys please subscribe and me and watch and comment please comment and share because that helps with the logarithms of my videos and do please uh share with your friends and family and let's grow together guys don't forget guys i love you so much